a corpse body goes through the transformation of mortification, yes. stiffens uh -huh. and start deteriorating. God wants you to be stiff in him. Yes. Mm. What do you mean? Upright. Right. Firm. Solid. Right. But he also wants your will to deteriorate. That's right. Until you become the living dead, right. living by God's will, yet dying to your will. That's right. That's right. Hey, listen. So what is it about self that God wants? To experience mortification. He says, what about the members? Mortify, therefore, your members. Hold it. <laughs> Amen. You yeah. see, your lips got too much life. <laughs> and your lips is a member of your body. So God wants your lips to be mortified. Mortified. Shut up from lying. Yeah. Shut up from cussing. Stop your smoking. Stop your drinking. You men, God want mortification to set in your lips so you won't even want to kiss another man. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The book of scripture says what? Mortify therefore your members. Mortify your members. Now let's look at your nose. Mm. He don't want you to snork in anything. That will rearrange your behavior to act in a way opposite from the way he created you. For he said I made you for my glory. Mortify what? Your members. Go to your eyes. Hallelujah. Until Jesus said, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. Right. What do you mean? Don't pluck out your natural eye. But rid yourself. Discipline your vision. That's it. So you don't sin with your eyes. That's it. And make sure what you look at, God will be pleased with your vision. That's right. Yeah. What else? Mortify, therefore, your members. Go to your hands. That's yeah. it. God didn't give your hands to steal. God didn't give you hands for you to embrace some man and you a man. God didn't give you hands to join some secret society and advertise their hand signals. That's right. What did he say? Mortify therefore your members. This is detail. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mortify therefore your members. Your members. Which are upon the earth. Which are upon the earth. Mortify your ears. That's right. Don't be nosy. Trying to hear that and being busy body and other people matter. That's right. Mortify your feet. Yeah. Yes. That way your feet won't carry your body, which is your temple, to places where you have no business being. That's right. Mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth. You so-called Christians. Yeah. That still go to clubs and party in Jesus' name. Christian women's out there on a cruise in a bikini in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's right. Bumping and grinding in the club Friday night, Saturday night, and then Sunday on the choir with necks all around your, with marks all around your neck and not by your husband. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Mortify therefore your members. I see many Muslim women that have the Proper headgear on. And then tight jeans from waist down. Right. Showing everything you're born with. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God called for modifying the deeds. That's right. That made the performance of God's creation. That's it. 
should be where God himself cannot find fault in his creation. That's right. I want to say that's impossible, Pastor Genesis. Oh, no. no. If you go back to Genesis, the original state of man was clean, holy, spotless, blameless. When God made Adam, there was no sin in the earth. Only when Adam fell. And what brought about his fall was disobedience. That's right. Sin made its introduction and impact into the world. That's right. And men and women been acting like mad dogs ever since. That's right. Are you listening? Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. So God want the entire body, your earthly house, your earthly tabernacle, your temple. That's it. That's to be mortified, mortified. disciplined, governed, Ruled, owned by him. That's it. If God rule you, you can't pick up that cigarette if you submit to the ruling of your boss. That's right. If you submit to God's rule, that's it. You can't pull your clothes off. For that man. And you a man? Amen. If the governments of America and the world would submit to God's rule, there will not be not one bill passed and converted into a law that transgress or blasphemes God's law. That's right. I had a gentleman write me. He said, I notice you don't have the American flag in your church. No. I don't need that trash in here. No. I'm no American patriot. No. <laughs> That's right. I don't pledge my allegiance to no country. That's right. That's right. When you pledge your allegiance, that means you give all. America don't deserve all from nobody. No. God's people pledge their allegiance to God, not to no country, not to no government. It's a blasphemous act. It's a blasphemous act. That's right. To stand up. And say I pledge allegiance. That's right. To the flag. That's right. Of the United States of America. That's right. Really? Really? That means you condone what that flag condone. That's right. So you condone same-sex marriages because your allegiance is to America. Right. You condone abortion because your allegiance is to America. Yeah. You condone murder. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. America don't condone murder. Anytime America can invade another country and yet cannot feed the poor people laying in the streets of this country and can go to another country and kill women, babies, and boys, they are murderers. That's right. Go ahead, brother. If you're going to tell other countries not to have weapons of mass destruction, yet America builds her own arsenal, America is a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. All right, it's hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Are you listening? So you go to war? And murder, murder for America. Yeah. And when you murder in the street, they said you broke law. Yeah. So it's all right to murder long as you do it in the name of the United States. That's right. 
But when you kill someone, they're breaking your house. You you go to jail. That's right. You don't go to jail as long as you murder for Uncle Sam. I know many of you don't like this, and you know by now, I don't care if you don't. That's right. If God says, thou shall not Not kill, kill, that's a direct command. command. That's a direct order. That's right. That's right. If rape is wrong for a citizen, then rape is wrong for a politician. Amen. If rape is wrong for a black man, yes. then rape is wrong for a white man. That's right. If a black man rape and get life, then a white man that rape should not get a week. Go ahead, brother. That's right. That's why you need God's law. That's it. When you have God's law, you don't have no favoritism. When you have God's law, you have no respect of person. That's right. It ain't no law for white and law for black. It's just God's law. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory. That's it. What is God's law? God's law. God law is the soul that sinneth. Yeah. It shall die. die. That's God's law. That's right. Here in America, a rich man commit a crime. They say he go to jail. Where he really go to a country club. That's right. Who plays golf in prison? Who wear designer suits in prison? That's right. But if a poor man commit the same crime, That's you right. do good if he ever see the light of day again. Oh, yes. So these so-called Christian pulpit bums that are afraid are speaking out against America because they are little prostitutes for America. Amen. And Uncle Sam is the biggest pimp of them all. That's right. And because they work faithfully and loyally to old Uncle Sam. That's right. When Uncle Sam says, I want you. <laughs> Black, white, brown, yellow, every ethnic group. Yeah. Answer the call for old Uncle Sam. That's right. Then our women enrolled in military and are raped by their commanders and chiefs. Yeah. That's true. They promise you more stripes on your arm. You get more stripes when you open your legs. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. Or they threaten to throw you out the military if you say anything. So you become a pass around whore. Mm. That's true. For Uncle Sam. That's right. You women that are watching and you know you was raped in the military, sue Uncle Sam. Amen. Don't be afraid of Uncle Sam. That's right. If others in the street is penalized for rape, then sue that pimp. That's right. And file charges. That's right. You don't let no captain, sergeant, drill sergeant, MP, corporal, nobody. Nobody. Use you at will to promise you promotion. That's right. Sue them. Sue them. Out of everything. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So when you pledge allegiance to the flag, well, you better be know what you're pledging to. Oh, yes. Are you listening? 
Oh, yes. Listen at this. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Mortify. Mortify. See, these fellas out here ain't preaching this. No, no way. They are afraid. Oh, yes. Especially you churches that have government programs. Hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with having government programs, but when that tie your hands oh, yes. from telling the truth, you are a government slave. That's right. That's right. I ain't going to be a slave to nobody. No. But to God. See, I don't mind being a slave to the Lord. Yeah. That way, if he see the need to beat me, I will accept his beating. Oh, yes. Because he know what to beat me with, when to start, when to stop for my good. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. It takes me long on one statement. Mortify the members, your members. Which are upon earth. the earth. Yes. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanness. Unclean. Inordinate affection. Unusual desires. That's right. Inordinate affection. Inordinate. What kind of man are you hmm. who imagine what it's like to be with your daughter? Imagine what it's like. Inordinate effect. What kind of man are you that imagine what it's like to be with your son? That's right. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with your mama? Mm. Amen. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with the altar boy? That's right. What kind of man are you fantasize being with your imam? My Lord. What kind of man are you that fantasize being with your rabbi? That's right. That's right. Inordinate affection. Religion is one of the biggest masks. One of the biggest cloaks. Oh, yes. Not to speak against sin, but to cover sin. That's right. So they're being raped in churches. Oh, yes. Many young Muslim girls in the Middle East are being sent out like prostitutes. That's right. Why imams collect money and use the Quran as a book of manipulation like preachers use the Bible as a book for their hypocrisy. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Inordinate affection. Unusual desire. That's right. I go to the zoo. I don't desire no animal. I don't care what them two are doing. <laughs> I, in good broken English, I ain't turned on. Am I right, I said? That's right. So the religion of men is dirty. Yes. Oh, yes. Sure. And this is why God would never trust no man, no man. even men that he himself sends, oh, yes. like Abraham, yeah. Moses, spoke to Adam. Enoch, Jacob, oh, yes. the prophets, the apostles. Yeah. Not one of them was trusted to the degree that God will give any of them permission right. to start a religion. That's That's right. Right. That's right. You religious scholars told one of the biggest lies on Abraham. So I pronounce his name, Abraham. All right. One of the biggest lies they told on him is Abraham is the father of three religions. Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Yeah. God ain't never trusted Abraham so much no. that he authorized Abraham to be the father or the originator or the creator of any religion. Any religions. God told man to be holy. That's it. That's it. Holiness 
has no date. No date. No Holiness date. have no founder. Yeah. Holiness have no beginning. That's right. Holiness have no ending. That's right. Holiness was here before the written Bible was here. That's right. Notice what I said. Holiness was here before the written scriptures was here. Written. That's right. Before there was any written book that took on the word Bible or religious book of yeah. any, kind, any kind, holiness was already here. Already That's here. Right. That's, right. That's right. For who can be holy other than God? That's right. Holiness is the characteristics of God. God. Notice Ephesians 1 4. According as he has chosen us. According in him, as he, as he, God, is one. That's right. Has chosen us. So in that means according to as he, he. According to as God has, has chose us. In him. In him. Before. What? Before. The yeah. foundation of the world. Anytime you say before the foundation of the world, that means before the existence of creation. That's right. What did God purpose for us to be before creation ever was? That we should be holy. No, we should be Christianity. We should be holy. Non-denominational. Holy. Mormon. Holy. Muslim. We should be holy. Hindu. Holy. Christian scientists. We should be holy. Five percenters. We should be holy. Nation of Islam. We should be holy. Christian scientists. We should be holy. Scientology. We should be holy. Baptists. Holy. Buddhists. Holy. Amen. Amen. Before the foundation of the world. There is no religion in the world. Hallelujah. That goes back before the world itself. That's right. You talk to everyone that wish up in some religion. That's They'll it. tell you, my religion started such and such. It's been around for uh, uh, seven centuries. Yeah. yeah. My religion been around for 300 centuries. That's right. My religion been around with this. My religion been around for that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. If your religion come from God. Yes. There is no date to the intelligence of God. No, no. Do you not know religion? The teaching of religion is supposed to be the teaching of God. That's right. And God's lessons have no beginning. That's right. You have a beginning by coming from the womb of your mothers. Gee. And then you're introduced to the lessons that always was. That's right. That you may have a beginning walking in the lessons of God. That's right. God first, you're next. That's right. And the lessons is with him oh, yeah. passed down to you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. When God want man to know something and he reveals something to man, the revelation didn't start when it was given to man. No. The knowledge of it already exists. Already. That's right. Because it's in the mind of God. That's it. And That's God right. wants man to carry his intelligence. Yes. His thinking. That's why God's knowledge is so infallible, so broad, so big. Oh, yes. Any man he choose to represent his intelligence, he don't give that man all that information at one time. No. no. He give it to him gradually. Right. Until the scripture says it this way. Line upon line. line. Upon line. He didn't say read between the lines. No. no. Line upon line. When a preacher tell you read between the lines. Let's, let's try it. Try it. Open your Bible. Let's, I'm going to try that, Pastor. And look at the first sentence of any verse you want. I, I'm in Isaiah chapter 28. And, and look 10. at the sentence under that verse. Mm -hmm. And if you read between the, each line, mm -hmm. it ain't nothing there. Yes. But a blank space. That's right. So anytime a man tell you read between the lines, he's telling you get nothing. That's right. It's a blank space. 
That's right. So God ain't never advised you or me to read between some lines. <laughs> no. This is what God advised. Isaiah chapter 28 and we're at verse 10. That's what? For precept must be upon precept. Precept. Precept, precept must be upon precept. Explanation must be upon explanation. Precept upon precept. And what? Line, line upon line. Upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little. You got to break down the first line here a little. And there and a little. And then when you go to the second line, you got to explain that there a little. That's right. And make the first line, the second line harmonize, That's which right. gives you a complete understanding of the verse you're dealing with that's it but when you go between the lines blank space blank space white space no information between that's right any line that's right are you getting the old troublemaker amen amen go back to where we were now let's go to the found everybody all right back in romans chapter 8 and verse 13 listen for if you live after the flesh, you shall die. If you live after your own pleasure, you shall die. In other words, God will destroy you. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify. If ye through the will of God do mortify. The deeds of the body. The performance of your will. Ye shall live. You will have life. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Hear this. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. Many. As are led. Hold it. Many as are led. led, many as are guided, mm. many that's directed. That's it. What? For as many as, as are led, many that are led by the Spirit of by God, by the Spirit of God, they they are the are sons of God, the sons of God, or they are the servants of God. That's right. Now. Is God leading mm. you? That's it. Haven't you been in some churches, some crackerjack churches? <laughs> That's right. Everybody from pulpit down say the Lord is leading me. Leading me. The Lord is leading me. That's right. How do you define the leading of the Lord? Leading. Is it a feeling in your gut? Yeah. You may just, your bowels just may be backed up. Come on, How do you define the leading of the Lord? Leading. Is it a dream? Mm. You could have ate too many beans. That's right. Cabbage. That's right. How do you define the leading of the Lord? Leading. They are the sons of God. The sons of God. The leading of the Lord is when my deeds coincide with the moving of God and God don't move me to do anything That's right. that contradict book of scripture. That's right. That's right. God led Moses yes. to lead Israel. To lead Israel. God led Abraham. Uh -huh. That's right. Introduced law of circumcision. Yes. That's right. God led Israel yeah. out of the land of Egypt. Land of Egypt. God led or yeah. dealt with Abraham. It was God will. That's right. Because Sarah was barren. That's right. And he went to his Egyptian ha uh, handmaiden, Hagar. Yeah. That's it. And the book of scripture says Sarah is Jerusalem. It's Jerusalem. Hagar is Arabia. Arabia. Are you listening? That's right. So Israel or Jerusalem and Arabia, the Arabs, have the same father. That's right. Which is Abraham, but come from different mothers. That's right. But suppose to bow to the same God. Same God. Are you listening? That's right. There's only one God for the universe. That's oh, yes. Right. And if there's one God for the universe, 
then there's no reason to have all these variety of religions. Because God don't give us a display of a smorgasbord of religion. No. Are you listening? That's right. What did he say? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Being led, guided, directed, directed. by God's Spirit. They are the sons of God. Amen. Amen. A lot of people take matters in their own hands. That's right. And say the Lord dealt with them to do this, hmm. to start the other, yeah. to go here. Yeah. That's how a lot of men got in the pulpit. That's right. Because if the Lord leads you to do his will, yeah. then the Lord will prosper you when you are obedient yeah. to his will. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. When the Lord lead you to do his will, he led Abraham yeah. to yeah. offer up Isaac. Sure. Oh, yeah. Challenging Abraham, faith in him. That's right. And Abraham went on, went, went, I mean, he went on. Oh, yeah. And then God provided. God provided. A ram in the bush. That's right. But he challenged Abraham. So when you say the Lord is leading you, leading you, I have met men by the hundreds who always claim the Lord is leading them. Yes. And when I look at the so-called leading that they say they have, <laughs> and they say the Lord is leading them from the book. From the book. If the Lord. That's right. Is leading you from the book, from the book. then your actions and your beliefs yeah. should not contradict the book. Oh, That's no. right. Oh. That's right. How many religious leaders of practically every sick religion in the world hmm. have used some religious book? Some book. To disguise their sinful actions as the leading of the Lord. Oh, Remember Lord. Jim Jones? Yeah. 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 I was a child in junior high school. They call it middle school now. Uh -huh. In the 1970s, when Jim Jones took his blind congregation to Guyana. Yeah. Received them into believing that the Lord led him to take them there. Yeah. And they all drunk poison. A few escaped. But because they had confidence in him, because they didn't know the Lord for themselves. That's right. And this is what empowers pulpit liars. That's right. They don't teach you God for a reason. Right. The knowledge of God, I want everybody to hear me real good. The reason why men in the pulpits of America and the world, they focus on teaching you community service. Yeah. That's good. All right. Helping your brother when he's down. That's good. That's good. Your next door neighbor need a cup of sugar, give them <laughs> some sugar. That's right. <laughs> but most religions uh -huh. don't teach you who is God? Who is God? No. What is God? That's right. Because if you don't come into the knowledge of who God is, God is, then you will always live in ignorance of who you are. That's right. Do you not know the knowledge of God brings you into the knowledge of yourself? yourself. The knowledge of God brings self-awareness. That's right. For it is the knowledge of God that teaches you what you're here for. That's right. He said, I made you for my glory. my glory. And if you don't know that, you will just think you're here to party, drink, smoke, knock up women, knock up men, gamble, act like a fool. That's right. 
But when you realize that you was made for God's glory, now there's a law hanging over your head. Yeah. That's right. Now there's a will. You got a purpose in life. That's right. And your very first purpose should not be a career. No. No. Your first purpose should be obeying God. That's it. That's right. You see, if my first purpose is to obey God, then when I pursue that career, I don't pursue a career that is in contradiction of God. Of God. That's right. Because I come into the knowledge of God who brought me into the awareness of myself. That's and right. I understand what I'm here for. Now I can serve him. Yeah. Not ignorantly, but wisely. Wisely. My decision making is better because I can decide now according to his thinking. That's right. Places I go now, I can change them because now I will only go where it pleases him. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now when I pray, I know how many to pray to. That's it. Because I came into the knowledge of him, not them. Not them. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. These three are one. There ain't no three. No. It's just one. Just one. Who has many operations. That's right. You can't put no cap on God's ability. No, no. One God makes the heaven. That's right. One God, one God. makes the earth. Yeah. One God controls the elements. That's right. Bring a flood in one area. Summertime in another. Yeah. yeah. Bring snow on the mountains. That's right. And bring heat in the valley. Behold, God is great. What? God is great. In Job 36 and verse 26. God is great. God is what? God is great. The Arabs said, Allah hu arfa. That's right. Allah who are God is the greatest. Oh yes. And the Bible says, Behold, God is great. Oh, I agree. Oh yes. Who's more greater than him? Who's more greater? So none of the prophets set the standard. No, no. God set the standard and then revealed the standard to the prophets. That's right. And then don't allow no prophet no apostle to mix their personal views no. with God's standard. No, no. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this. Behold, God is great. God is great. And we know him not. We know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm out to say, I know how old who God is and I know how much of a fool you are. <laughs> That's right. God That's right. is great. Great. And what? And we know him not. And we don't know him. Hold it. Come on, Jay. Someone say, well, wait a minute, Pastor. That's a contradiction. Because the prophets knew him. There is no prophet, no apostle, that have all the understanding of God. No way. That's what it means we know him not. We know him not. We only know what he make known to us. That's right. For the Bible says this, the secret thing belongs to God. Belongs to God. Belong to yeah. God. So you only know what he allow you to know. That's it. That's what that is. That's it. Glory to God. Behold, God is great. God. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. That's something. I mean, look how great he is. Great he is. You see the highest mountain in the world. Yes. And here in the days of Noah, the waters rose 15 cubits above the highest above mountain. The highest mountain. Yeah. Look how great God is. Look at yourself. That's right. A product of God's creation. That's right. That's right. Scientists and others rather credit evolution yes 
which is a lie that the devil introduced to degrade and belittle God. So Satan has set up religion right. for one reason, not only to deceive people, but for the belittlement of God. That's right. That's why they say it's more than one. Yeah. To try to take away from him his greatness of being the almighty. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Behold, God is great. Glory to God. And we know Hallelujah. him not. God is great. Is great. And we know him and not. And we don't know how great God is. Neither can the number of his years be Neither searched out. Neither does he have a birthday. Th that's it. That's right. That's because right. when you born, you get numbers to your years. <laughs> that's it. But God ain't born. No. Well, Pastor Jennings, what about Jesus Christ being God? That flesh and blood that Mary birthed wasn't God. No. God was in Christ Jesus. That's right. Mary ain't the mother of God. No. Mary was the mother of the servant of God or the son of God or the Messiah. That's it. God ain't never have a mother. No. 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 What woman can birth God? That's right. I mean, think of it. Every child have a certain amount of weight. But God, the scripture says he is higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. It ain't a woman womb that big. <laughs> That's right. All right, listening. That's right. That's right. So the spirit of Christ that was in the son of man, the flesh and blood was the flesh or the flesh of Christ. That's it. And the spirit of Christ was in the flesh of Christ. That's it. The spirit that was in Christ Jesus, that was God. To with that but the God. flesh itself was the son That's of it. the living God. That's what do you mean, son of God? That don't mean that God came down to have sex with no woman. No. No. That's right, Logan. God have sex God. with a woman? That's right. He's called son of God, which means servant of God or minister of God. That's it. For the book tells us that we are That's right. the, the sons, sons of God. Of God. What do you mean? We are the servants, the servants. of the most high God. Uh, behold, God is great. Do you hear this? Now in Job 36 and verse 26. Look. God is great. God is great. And we know him not. You don't know him. Neither can the number of his years be searched the out. The number of his years cannot be searched out. For he maketh small the drops of water. <laughs> he makes small. Yeah. The drops of water. They pour down rain according to the vapor thereof. Pour down rain according to the vapor. Which, which the clouds do drop and distill which upon the man clouds, abundantly. Listen, which the clouds do drop. And distill upon man abundantly. And distill upon man abundantly. Also, can any understand the spreadings of the clouds? Can any understand the spreading? Of the clouds. Of the clouds. Oh. Once, another scripture says the clouds are the dust of his feet. Or the noise of his tabernacle. Or the noise of God's tabernacle. Behold, he spreadeth his light upon it. And he spread his light upon it. And covereth the bottom of the sea. He covers the bottom of the sea. Of the sea. Amen. God is, God is just too deep for man. Oh, yes. To comprehend. That's right. Even when God revealed himself to man. And make himself known to man who he is. Who he is. After man explain and teach that God given revelation That's with right. a God given explanation, yes. God is deeper than that. That's, That's right. right. Touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. What? Touching the Almighty. Listen at this. Now in Job chapter 37 and verse 23. Touching the Almighty. The Almighty. We cannot find him out. Hallelujah. Not even the Bible itself. That's right. Give you all the information about God. That's right. It ain't a religious book on the planet. Book. 
that can tell you everything about God. That's right. God is bigger than the actual revelations That's that right. he gave to man about himself. That's right. That's true. There ain't a religion. The Bible don't give you all the information. The Quran don't give it to you. The Torah don't give it to you. No. Because God is bigger than all those books put together. That's right. have a bunch of Bibles, you can have a bunch of Qurans, you can have a bunch of Torahs, a very translation under the sun. But God is bigger than all of it. Yeah, that's right. Because that's right. the prophets can only say what God make known to them. Oh yes. They are secret things that belong to God right. that no man know. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Do you hear this? In Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. This is the Torah, the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 29. The Old Testament, verse, chapter 29. And verse 29. Verse 29 the says. The secret things. Secret. Secret. Private. Mm. Yes. Go ahead, man. <laughs> That's right. Private things. It's private. Yeah. That's right. Only reserved for God. That's right. He don't want you to know. That's it. Too deep for you. Oh, yes. Can't handle it. You can't even obey what you already know. That's true. You're struggling trying to obey what knowledge you have. That's right. So God hold back things. That's right. Just for himself. That's right. Do you hear this? The secret things. The private things. Belong unto the Lord our God. Belong just to him. Oh, yes. But those things which are revealed. But those things which are made known. Belong unto us. And to our children forever. Do you hear this? That's right. That's right. The things that are revealed. Belong unto us. It belongs to us to shape us. And to our children forever. To shape us, to shape our children, to shape the generations that come after us, to mold us, yes. to fashion us after his likeness. That's that right. we may do all the words of this law. Hallelujah. These things are revealed to us for what reason? That we may do all the words. That we may words perform the information we get. Of this law. Of this law. And the Bible says this in the book of Joshua. This book of the law. The law. Shall not depart out of thine mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein yeah. day and night, day and night. Yeah. to observe, to, to do. do according to all that is written therein. That's it. Then the Lord say, I will make thine way prosperous, prosperous and thou shalt have good success. good success. Prosperity is not houses, land, money, and cars. No. True prosperity is the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is, how to obey him, That's how it. to serve him, and how to live for him. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's right. I care nothing about the amount of money you have. No. You can be rich. Oh, yes. But in God's eyes, you're poor. You're poor. That's right. True riches is not materialism. Oh, no. True riches, True riches is giving God servitude. That's right. Until the scripture says it this way, 2 Corinthians.
Yes. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. Let's see what kind of treasure we have. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Begin at verse 1. Therefore, saying we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of this honesty. Not walking not in walking craftiness. Not walking in craftiness, nor handing the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, committing, committing ourselves. ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of God. But if our God will be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. Lest the light Lest of the, the light glorious, of the glorious of Christ, 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 who is the who image, is the of, image God, of God, shall shine unto them. But we preach not ourselves. But we preach not not ourselves, but Christ Jesus but the Lord, Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' for sake. For God, who commanded the who light, command the light to shine, to shine out, of out of darkness, has shined in our heart. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Has shined has in our heart. Has in our heart to give the to light of the knowledge. The light of the knowledge. Wait a minute. Light is what of the knowledge. Hallelujah! That's why so many of you religious are in the dark. That's right. Only. The knowledge of God That's right. is light. Light. That's right. That's the right. knowledge of men is dark. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. The knowledge of God light. is light. Light. And the knowledge of God comes in stages. That's yes. right. For it says the path of the just That's right. is as a shining light that shines more and more. And more and more. Unto the perfect day. Unto the perfect day. So the light of God come in stages. That's right. What is that perfect day? Right. The light and the knowledge of God will be given right up until the time of the arrival of the Lord. That's right. That's when the ultimate infallible light comes. That's it. In person. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness and what? has shined in our hearts to do what? To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God uh -huh. in the face of Jesus Christ. What do we have? But we have this treasure. Wait. Hallelujah. We have this treasure. Treasure. Nice. This treasure. We have this treasure. This information where? In earthen vessels. It's in here. That's it. Your earthly vessel is your body. That's right. Your earthly vessel is your temple. That's right. So the treasure of God is the valuable, precious wisdom and knowledge and understanding the information of God. That's right. And we have this treasure in earthen vessels in your body. That the excellency of the power. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. How good is God's power? The excellency is excellent. of the power. May be of God. May be of God. And not of us. So you can't go to seminary school and some Bible college and come out with the wisdom of God. That's right. Nah, That's right. you go oh, to no. seminary school and some dumb Bible college, That's you'll right. come out with a dumb dog degree. That's right. That's right. The wisdom of God come from God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can graduate and be a Ph.D. and a D.D. all you want. All you want. But the wisdom of God is from above. That's right. Yes. Because God's wisdom is a gift. But where shall wisdom be found? Do you hear this? In Job chapter 28 and verse where 12. Where shall wisdom be found? And where is and the, place, where of is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof. Man don't know how valuable it is. Neither is it found in, the land, it found the, in the land of the living. The depth saith. That you can go down to the sea, but what did the depth say? It is not in me. Oh, it's not there. And the sea saith. And the sea saith. It is not with me. It's not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold. You can't buy it. Neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof hallelujah the wisdom of god itself hallelujah is valuable oh, more geez. valuable than the weight of gold that's right that's right that's right so when men strike oil and got all this wealth all right fine fine but if i have god Oh, yes. I have more than any oil tycoon. That's right. In the world. That's right. Let me strike scripture. Come on. <laughs> That's it. Come on, and let the wisdom of God spring up. That's it. Yeah. That Hallelujah. I may be rich. That's right. With the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Oh, yeah. That's it. That wisdom converts my house. Yeah. Mm. Right. It converts my temple. Oh, yes. It converts the man part of me. That's it. They that are led. They that are led by the spirit of God. They that are led by the presence of God. They are the sons of God. Wonderful. Since the day God revealed 
himself to us many years ago. Oh, yes. We have followed that without deviation. That's right. I don't respect no man's religion. That's right. I respect what God says. That's it. That's right. When you come tell me what your religion is and tell me it's been around 700 years, 30 years, <laughs> two days. Yeah. Amen. My question is always, always, is God religion your religion? That's it. And if your answer is yes, then I'm going to ask you to give me your religious book where the Lord declared himself That's right. to be what you are. What you are. That's right. That's right. You Mormons out there, the Lord ain't never told you he's a Mormon. No. no. Some old demon appeared to your founder, Joseph Smith, in New York. Yeah. That's right. Where you found some fake tablets under a rock. <laughs> That's right. That's true. You should have took out prudential insurance and got a piece of the rock. That's right. <laughs> nice. You come all late on the scene. Come all late. Way late. All of your religions yeah. came late. Came late. Yeah. Right. What is God? What is God? That's my question to you, religious people Amen. and religious leaders. Mm -hmm. What is God? What is God? Right. That's it. Whatever religion you profess, then God, if you say they come from God, then God should be of that religion. That's true. That's right. And then declare himself to be it. To be that. That's right. Is God a Baptist? Is God a Buddhist? Is, is God Pentecostal? Is God apostolic? Is, is God non-denominational? Is God Lutheran? Is God a seven-day Adventist? Is God a Mormon? Uh, is God diagnostic? Is God uh, Pentecostal? Uh, is God uh, a Muslim? I remember me, I, I, there's loads of Muslims that watch this program and we often get into dialogue. And I remember I asked a Muslim many years ago. Uh -huh. I said, brother, let me ask you a question. I said, is God a Muslim? He said, alhamdulillah. <laughs> he said, brother, I, he said, I never had that question posed to me before. He said, brother, alhamdulillah. He said, I never thought of that. He said, yes, brother. <laughs> he said, now that you ask that God almighty Allah is, is a Muslim. <laughs> I said, what do Muslim mean? He said, Muslim means one that submits to God. I say, if God is a Muslim, who does he submit to? That's right. He looked, he said, I say, you know and I know almighty God submits to no one. Nobody. He said, Brother Jennings, wow, you got me, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear me, world? Yes! That's right. Whatever religion you profess That's right. is your Lord. He's your Lord. Professing to be of that same belief. That's right. That's right. You church people. You got all these crucifixes in your churches with all this idolatry. Angels all up and down your walls. Yeah. That's right. Little angels, little black angels, white angels with curly hair and little Whoa. fat pudgy knees like they were 10 pounds. That's right. <laughs> little statues of Joseph and Mary and cattle. <laughs> you blind priests that got chains around your neck. Around your People neck. filling beads. Praying yeah. to Mary. Mary don't know you and you don't know her. That's for the right. book says the dead know of nothing. Know of nothing. Right. Pope come in town. You bow down at his feet. We bow to no man. That's right. That's right. Only God we bow to. That's it. That's right. That's right. They say, oh, this man is spewing out hatred. No, I'm telling truth. I'm telling the truth. That's 
That's right. We don't bow down at no man and kiss his feet. No way. No. No. no way. You shouldn't be bowing down to no preacher. Muslims should not be bowing down to no imam. Jews should not be bowing down to no rabbi. That's right. That's right. Every human under the sun must bow to God. To God. in the world would get a fence over this but somebody who wants to be wished up other than God. That's right. This poison, poison. that has contaminated so called houses of worship yeah. where men now want to stand in the place of God. That's right. They want to be wished up. Yeah. They want to be prayed to, want songs made about them. That's right. And this contamination is spreading, but I'm determined to blast it to hell. Blast it back. Right. Remember what the book of scripture says. Romans 8 and verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit if of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Then you are a servant of God okay. and your servitude yeah. service that you render yeah. will not violate no. the teaching that Jesus That's right. revealed or gave to his apostles. That's right. The message that the Lord gave to the prophets. That's right. Your service will not contradict it. That's right. You won't go out and murder and kill. That's right. No. no. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Because they're doing it now. That's right. Scriptures tattooed all on them, going into crazy places. Yeah. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I murder you. That's right. Yea, the time cometh. And listen, now what they've done is in the Bible. That's right. And Jesus prophesied about it. St. John chapter 16 and at verse 2. Listen at the teaching of Jesus. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh. The time come. That whosoever killeth you. Whosoever murder you. Will think that will he, think that he doeth God's service. That he's doing God's will. I told you. That's right. And these things will they you will think you. you're doing it. The That's Bible right. didn't never say you're doing it. No. Think. It says you think you're doing think. it. That's right. These crazy so-called Christians. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Murdering you, stabbing you, cutting you. Yeah. Raping you. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. When you're led of God, led by the Spirit of God, He don't lead you around the Scriptures. No, He leads you to the Scriptures. That's right. And if you're honest and sincere at all, God will lead you to the Book of Truth. That's right. And to the message of truth, that you may live by the precepts of God, that you will love the truth. That's right. Amen. That's right. When you love the truth, you will love God. Oh, yes. Because God will tell you the truth about yourself. About yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You may go behind doors and smoke your weed and drink your beer and drink your liquor and live together, not married. And then go to church singing about Jesus or go to the mosque. Or go to the synagogue and read the Torah and bouncing your head back and forth. But one thing about God, buddy, you can't fool him. That's right. That's right. He know whether you a man carrying that Bible. He know whether you a man wearing that loose garment. He know no. whether you a man and you got the locks in your hair oh, reciting yes. the Torah. That's right. For well, your reciting the Torah ain't mean, don't mean the head of a dog. Yeah. 
and you knocking up some man and you a rabbi. Mm. Come on, Jerry! No. You reading from the Quran don't mean nothing. No. And you knocking up some man and you claim you a Muslim man. Claim you. That's right. You going to church with the Bible don't mean nothing. Yes. You bouncing around saying about Jesus, 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 Jesus. And you stuck in a man's rump. My God, my God. <laughs>